みなさんこんにちは。豆腐の光一でございます。Today I'm coming to you from my office. Don't tell my boss. But luckily my boss is heading off to Japan right now. Without me. But I was thinking if you're watching this channel, then chances are you might want to go to Japan too. And if you're not rich or important, that might be a little bit difficult. So you gotta be, shall we say, a little bit tricky. So, if you don't want to pretend to be a dog to get in the kennel area of the airplane, and trust me, you do not want to be a dog traveling to Japan because they spend six months in containment just to see if they have rabies, then you're gonna want to get yourself a scholarship. Cha ching! And it's not as hard as you might think. A little bit of brains, a little bit of beard trimming that goes for the girls too, and in general, a little bit of scholarship street smarts. You would be surprised at how easy it is. I mean, this guy got a scholarship. And people say I'm a little bit slow, so you can do it as well. Here's a few tips. Tip number one whatever you do, do not correlate your desire to go to Japan based off of anime or manga. You want to come up with some rubbish like, I'd like to go to Japan to promote intercultural relations. I'd like to create new friendships and share my culture while learning about another person's culture to promote world peace. Cha ching! Step number two, keep going. You know, ever since I was three years old, I wanted a job in international business. So actually, now I'm a bit of an artist, and、uh, one of the art forms from Japan that I really, really respect is ma or、uh, woodblock prints. Yes, woodblock prints, I very, very much respect them. So you see, my great great grandmother was actually Japanese. And actually, she's still alive in Japan today. They have a very long life expectancy. And my mumsy, she always said, my great great grandma, she lives in the mountains of Fukuoka. And I think if I could get over there and learn Japanese, I could get to know my roots. I really want to study the art of sumo. You see, the level of math here in Britain, it's not very high. So I want to go to Japan and take a higher level of math. But it also couples with my passion to learn new languages. So I'd be able to learn a higher level of math and I'd be able to learn Japanese. And I think it would be a very, very self. Fulfilling a dream of mine. And yes, definitely talk or write in a British accent. So that's all the time I have today. But if you'd like some less British sounding tips and tricks, I recommend you go over to my website, tofugu.com. Over there in the link right in the sidebar, you can get a lot more information on how to get a Japanese scholarship, maybe a little bit of information on where you can find these Japanese scholarships, and more. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. This video was brought to you by Edufire Superpass, where you can learn Japanese with live online instructors for only $29 a month. That's less than $1 a day. And yes, if you're trying to get a Japanese scholarship, it's probably good to study some Japanese. More information on that in the sidebar, just click more information and look for Edufire Superpass. You see, my great great grandmother, she actually hiked all the way across Russia through the tundra and she made her way into Japan. And right now, she's about 212 years old. It's all that wakame and、uh, sushi and,、uh, you know, all those other things. And I was wrestling this croc, and it was biting my face.